of Spain takes gold, Butterworth of Britain silver, Liu of China bronze, and we move on to the individual pursuit finals. We'll have three of these. Uh, we'll start with the, the bronze medal finals and then go to the gold medal finals. And obviously there will be now a short interlude. There's Mark Lee Colborne of Great Britain with the world records set today. We've seen a, a string of records broken. All broken this morning, the bronze medal final then between Michael Teuber of Germany and Rodrigo Fernando Lopez of Argentina. And then we'll see the gold medal race between Goldborn of Britain and Lee of China. All eyes will be on this starting trap here. After what has happened to Jody Kundi, this is Michael Teuber of Germany. And just a word about an extraordinary morning in the uh, velodrome in the C1 pursuit, C2 pursuit, and C3 pursuit. World records in all of them. Mark Colborne of Great Britain in the C1. That's the event you're looking at now. After this, we'll have the C2 and Liang Zhu of China. Broke a world record and a new world record from Joseph Berenyi of the USA in the C3 pursuit. So for bronze then, in the men's individual C1 pursuit final, this for bronze, Michael Teuber of Germany against Rodrigo Fernando Lopez of Argentina. The race distance, by the way, here is 3,000 meters, so it is 12 laps of the track. Teuber of Germany, three times Paralympic champion, won a couple of goals in 2004, another one in 2008 and Lopez bronze medalists at the Paralympic Games 2004 in the road race stroke time trial he's a world pursuit bronze medalist so remember 3,000 meters and through 250 23.3 So at the moment, Lopez in the lead. You can see he's moved on to the 500 metres. He's, he's well ahead at the moment, it has to be said. So another lap, and we're a third of the way through. Around at 1,000 metres. We'll look for Lopez time. You can see how he's closing in there. The Argentine. Lopez 
round 1.375. Any second now, 149.118. He really is closing here on the German. Halfway through, at just under two minutes for Lopez. The world record, by the way, is 3.53. 9.70, so a little way short of that at the halfway mark. Lopez continues to gain on the German Tauber. So 2,000 metres marks the two-thirds stage. 2.41.113 for Lopez. Be three quarters of the way round, 2,250. So any moment now, 2,250. Dead on the three minute mark, so it could be quite a quick time. It won't be world record time, but it's a good time from Rodrigo Fernando Lopez. can see I think the pain etched on his face no doubt where the bronze medal is going I don't think Lopez continues to chase down Teuber of Germany from now to the bell this is the last lap remember the time you're looking for 3.53970 is the world record. As I say, they won't reach that, won't beat that, but it's a, a good time nonetheless for Lopez as he comes round to the finish. Marvellous stuff from the Argentine, just beyond the four metre mark, four, uh, four minute mark rather, four minutes, four seconds, point five five nine. All smiles, lots of hollering and whooping from the Argentines because Rodrigo Fernando Lopez has taken the bronze medal for Argentina. Confirmation of the time, 4.04.559. Bronze medal winner in the C1 individual pursuit, Rodrigo Fernando Lopez of Argentina. Well, he was away quicker, wasn't he, Lopez? He was quicker than Tauber at the start. And he just got better and better and better. And you can see that the delight on the faces of his coaching staff. So Michael Teuber beaten but by no means disgrace excellent effort from the German but Rodrigo Fernando Lopez is the man who will take the bronze medal and in the end over six seconds quicker than his German opponent and now for gold and the host nation Great Britain has an interest here with Mark Lee Colborne up against Li Zhang Yu of China. Remember Colborne, that new Paralympic and world record this morning of 353.970. wonder whether there might be some extra steely determination from Team GB after what happened to Jody Cundy and his reaction afterwards 
They train so hard, of course, all these athletes, from the very best to those that don't quite meet such high standards, but you know, they've all, they've all put their heart and soul into it. And it must be very, very difficult when you see what happened to Jody Cundy. And I don't know, I wonder whether that will have an effect or whether Mark Lee Colburn will be able to put that to one side. Coached by Tom Stanton. Already set a world record, the previous world record. Uh, silver at the World Champions as well. World Championships, I should say, this season in the track time trial. So Li Zhang Yu of China up against Mark Lee Colborne of Great Britain. This is over 3,000 metres, so 12 laps of the track. Colborn, the world record holder, and looked like he was very, very quickly out of the blocks. Round the first 125 metres. Well, this looks like being a thrilling battle for the gold medal. And round two. 375 on the next lap or half lap I should say crowd roaring on Mark Goldborn a moment Lee having the ride of his life so far the Chinese athlete absolutely wonderful stuff this you can see Lee crosses first so Mark Goldborn has a Colborn has a, a little bit of work to do here coming to the thousand meter mark next well this is a terrific contest still plenty of laps to go still got seven laps to go of the 12 crowd absolutely going wild here and Colborne starting to claw it back now he was over a second behind he's just over half a second behind now and still plenty of distance still plenty of distance to go this is wonderful stuff from Colborne it was Li Zhang Yu who went out of the blocks quickest but Colborne now has the lead, he snatched the lead as Mark Lee Colborn. Don't know whether this is quite as fast as his world record this morning. What a terrific, titanic tussle this is. Mark Lee Colborn against Li Zhang Yu of China. And they'll be round at 2000. Very, very shortly indeed. So where are they at 2,000? Mark Colborn at 2.35. Well, the crowd is just a wall of noise here. Let's look at people up on their feet for Mark Lee Colborn. Just three laps to go. And Mark Lee Colborn... Yeah, it looks like gold for the British cyclist now. 3.04 at 2.375 metres, round to the 2.500 metre mark in, uh, what, 3.14. And you can see he was actually behind at 12.50, but Mark Colborn, absolutely no doubt here that he is going to take gold barring some sort of miracle and now we'll have a look at the time and see whether he can shatter his own world record Mark Lee Colborn of Great Britain obviously hasn't let what happened to Jody Cundy affect him Mark Lee Colborn
coming round to the finish. 353.970 is the world record. It's a gold medal for Great Britain, and it is a new world record. He's done it again. He shattered the world record twice in a day. Would you believe it? Right arm in the air, Mark Lee Colburn of Great Britain has won gold and he shattered the world record twice in the space of a matter of hours. What a marvellous ride that was from Mark Lee Colburn. His fist pumps the air.